so fresh scents. Great choice. They are, of course, all scents, fresh, bright, invigorating. Fresh notes are the most popular type of scents used in air fresheners for a reason, so can't go wrong with lovely fresh scents. Some of my favorites as well. I've pulled a great selection of candles for you that I think encompass most of the fresh category. I've got candles that are citrusy, orangey, grapefruit, lemon. Got candles that pull from the green subfamily, more herbal. Got candles that fit in the water subfamily, just fresh, bright, fresh linen, water, ocean scents. And I have one from Aromatic overlaps with woody a bit. So if you like our first candle, then you might want to check out the woody scents. And I do have a fruity candle too, which falls between fresh and also floral. Fresh candles are a wonderful choice. I'm really glad you picked this category. They're great in every room. They just bring some brightness. They're great in the kitchen to help remove unwanted smells and freshen things up. Same for the bathroom. They're great in your workplace to help motivate you. They're good in the bedroom because especially like in the morning, waking you up. The only time I would have really used these is when you're like winding down for bed. But any other time, any other place, fresh candles are perfect. Mm -hmm. So are you ready? We'll go through the candles I picked. And then let me know at the end if there are a couple that you really liked. Then I'll package them up so you can take them home with you. Alright. So, start off number one here. This is our aromatic candle. Lavender and sage. Again, if you like this one, then woody scents might also be a good fit for you. Aromatic candles are all about the lavender, all about the herbs, so lavender and sage is very true to the aromatic. Here's what this one looks like. A lovely glass jar. Let me give you a try. Perfect. And this type of fresh candle actually would be good for winding down before bed. Aromatics help you feel calm and relaxed. For our next choice, we have kind of a pair, so they're a bit similar. I'm gonna be looking at these two. We'll try this one first. This is our blood orange candle. This is the most true kind of citrus scent that you're going to get. It's wonderful blood orange, orange, grapefruit scents. Really fresh, really bright. 
is a large candle with two wicks, perfect for a large room. It smells just so fresh, almost tropical even, it can help whisk away any winter blooms. Let you try. And our candle that I'm pairing this one with is this guy here because this one is also nice and citrusy. So instead of more orange, blood orange focused, the strongest scent in this candle is grapefruit has a lovely grapefruit citrus scent. If you found the first one a bit overpowering, this one might be a great choice. A little bit smaller, single wick here, just to give you that nice, subtle, refreshing citrus boost. let you try. Though of course if you're not a fan of grapefruit then the orange candle may be better. Interestingly, I do like this candle quite a lot but I really do not like actual grapefruit. It smells good but never eat grapefruit. Hmm. Moving on here, we have this lovely candle. Comes in this pottery container, which is glazed in this really nice design, tricolor design different textures. And I think this one is just classically fresh candle. It has the fresh linen scent, gives you feelings of bright summer sunny days, warm summer air, clean and fresh. I think if you're looking for a good all-rounder, this is the perfect choice. Though it is a little like air freshener-y, <laughs> so if you've grown a bit tired of those kinds of scents, then maybe, maybe not this one. Give it a try. Very good. Next up is this candle. This is white tea and sage. including sparkling bergamot, white tea, and fresh sage. Bergamot is a classic fresh scent used really widely in perfumes and it's in a lot of candles I find. It's great on its own and also is really nice at freshening up and brightening darker, like woody and amber candles. So, 
feel like you'll find it a lot as a secondary scent there. But here, it's the focus. Single wick, lovely glass jar. Give it a go. Mm -hmm. Refreshing, right? I like this one. Next up here, you have a beautiful candle. It has a lovely striped design, blue and white. You can tell it's going to be fresh already. And comes with this very cute, like, wicker lid. This one is rosemary and sea salt. It's got lots of great herbal scents. Rosemary, thyme, also has hints of orange and lemon. And then it brings in that fresh ocean beachy air with the sea salt. Really a nice classic, more like tropical kind of candle. Just so lovely. This one has three wicks. This is a big one, so I would caution you against using this in a small room, like a bathroom. Is it just, you might open the door and whoo, tropical explosion. So maybe a bigger room, like putting this in your kitchen could be really nice. There you go, give it a try. Mm-mm. type of candle too I think is really nice if you live somewhere that gets very cold. It's like a nice summer reminder on the dark days. Next up here we have lovely green pottery candle. I think this one is green to give you a hint at what the scent is. It's a lovely, fresh herb garden smell. Rosemary, thyme, sage. It's not too overpowering either. It's quite soft. I think this one would be especially nice in the kitchen also. Bring you that lovely kind of indoor, outdoor herbal garden. And you can reuse this container like many of the other ones. Give that a try. What do you think? Hmm. Last but not least, we're going to foray into fruity. This one, red, like the berries the candle smells of. It's beautiful, fresh berry scent. Stuck this one more with the fresh 
candles because though it is fruity, it is very berry scented. There's definitely something else in there too that's just lifting it that little bit more. You can tell that I like this one. I've used it. <laughs> okay, Give this one a go. Oh, you like this one? Yeah, it's good, right? One thing I will say is it can be quite a lot of berry, strong berry scent. So here, let me know. Is this one of your top two? It is. Or top three even? It is. <laughs> nice. Well, then I think if you still like this one after we light it, I have some smaller tea light versions that I think will be perfect for you. All right. So let's try this one. And what were two other candles that you like the sound of? Okay, our fresh linen candle. Crisp, fresh, perfect representation of fresh. And our blood orange candle. Mm, interesting, yes. Our big, strong citrus scent. Well, let me light these three and then tell me which your which are your favorite two. have some matches here. Just use these. Probably need two. Um, here we go. One. And two. Okay. Let's light our smaller ones. Ready? Starting with the berry candle. And our fresh linen. Number two for our big candle. Now that I've lit these and the wax is beginning to melt. Oh, I love how this one looks through the glass, right? Give this one a try. Just some small circles and breathe in. And out. Linen candle. It's 
small circles and breathe in and out that one's nice huh and last but not least our blood orange, orangey citrus candle. Do some small circles here. Give this one a sniff too. Breathing in and out. Perfect. All right. From those, which two are your favorite? That's kind of why I thought you'd say nice. Well, excellent choices. Now, I do have some fresh ones for you. So I'll package up for you tonight one fresh linen, fresh summer air candle to take home and like I said too for the berry candles they do come in this lovely tea light size and I think this will be perfect as you mentioned that the main candle was a bit too strong and you can light one of these or a few of these have them in different rooms that'll really allow you to better control the scent mm -hmm. so we'll finish boxing this up oh and for the tea lights before I forget these are great, you know, on their own, right? But can make them look a little nicer. So, I have these little tea light holders here. Option one is this cute little handle. Cream, like a little teacup. Option two is just a nice classic glass little jar container. This one's a little more subtle, go with pretty much anything. So which one do you prefer? Option one or option two? Two? Okay, perfect. Well, then I'll package both of these up as well for you to take home. Alright, I'll be right back with your gift. Just a moment. Okay, here you are. One big candle, a bunch of tea lights, and two tea light holders. Just for you. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me tonight. Thank you for letting me give you a few candles to enjoy. I hope they help give you some brightness, some freshness. You deserve it. I look forward to seeing you again very soon. I hope that you sleep well and take care and have sweet dreams. Thank you so much. Good night, okay? Here you go. 
Good night, good night, good night.